Every bird has to fly their own flight. The Guru will explain to us, he will teach us, he will guide us, he will encourage us. But what we have to do, we alone can do and nobody can do it for us. We are always on the lookout for blessings. Guruji, please put your hand on my head. What will happen with that? Everything will happen. Really? If everything will happen by putting the hand on the head, then why should Guruji give a lecture? Guruji will say, all the people of Dallas line up and I'll keep putting my hand on everybody's head. If by the Guru's blessings everything could happen, the Guru would have been delighted to do that. But every bird has to fly their own flight. The Guru will explain to us, he will teach us, he will guide us, he will encourage us. But what we have to do, we alone can do and nobody can do it for us. When the birds fly, the migratory birds, 120 miles in a day, once in a while one bird gets exhausted. The others can encourage, it's not so far now. But if the bird decides that I can't do it, down it goes. In the same way, we all are responsible for ourselves. The Guru will help us along. But if you think you don't do anything and the Guru will do it all, that will never happen. Next, if somebody is a true Guru, that person's words will be deeply impacting. They will go and hit us inside. They will transform us forever. That is the power of the Guru's words. The same thing we have heard it so many times, we have read it so many times but it never had any impact on us. And the same message we heard from the mouth of the Guru and we changed ourselves forever. That is the power of the Guru's Vani. Because the Guru is not speaking from a book. He is sharing knowledge from the depths of realization. Kabirji used to live in Kashi, the city of scholars. So the Shat Shastris of Kashi, they accosted him. They said, what is the matter? We are explaining with Shat Darshan and nobody's heart is getting affected. And you are creating one verse in ordinary language and hearing it, people are getting transformed. They are running towards God. What is the matter? Kabirji said, the reason should have been obvious to you. Tum kehte ho kagas ki lekhi. You are only telling what you have read. Main kehta hu, nij aankhon ki dekhi. I am sharing what I have seen. And that is why the listener also is able to perceive the difference. Next important point. In recognizing a Guru, don't give importance to external things. This Guruji, does he wear saffron or white or yellow or black or red or is he Digambar, Naga? These are all external things. Supposing Guruji wears a tie, three-piece suit, will you reject him because he is wearing a three-piece suit? 
what is the importance of the externals mahatma means mahan atma noble soul not mahan sharir sharir body everybody has got of the five entities prithvi jal tej vayu akash aji saab this baba he only eats fruit he is phalahari really then he must be very elevated but tell me don't the monkeys also only eat fruit are the monkeys also elevated what is your criteria aji saab this baba does not even eat fruits so what does he do he only takes milk he is dudahari so then dudahari must be higher than phalahari and this baba he doesn't touch money but he travels by first class his disciple purchases his ticket so what is the your criteria for renunciation if by touching money he becomes disturbed then the cashier in the bank is better who is dispensing money without any disturbance that is why these externals are no criteria we don't want to see the colored clothes we want to see the colored heart further the chamatkars these are also not important we have adopted the philosophy chamatkar ko namaskar you see a miracle and you do namaskar so what chamatkar does this guru ji do what chamatkar do you want to see I want to see something that is spectacular to the eye. But your eye is material and what the eye can see will also be material. So if you wish to adopt the chamatkar siddhant adopt it like this chamatkar ko do se namaskar. Or otherwise if you want to see the miracle of the saint see this miracle one worldly person started associating with him and by virtue of his association that person got changed in other words the mahatma changed the person not just produced a certain gimmicks etc that is the real miracle and now come to the most important point if somebody is a true guru and we associate with that person we will automatically experience detachment from the world and attachment to god just like if there's a ball of fire let's say there's a fire burning outside in the month of january when temperatures have gone sub zero at night you are away from the fire experiencing cold you start taking one one step towards the fire and as you go closer the cold is disappearing you are experiencing the heat in the same way the guru is a ball of god consciousness we associate with such a guru and don't experience attachment to god detachment from the world that will not happen so that is the pratyaksh praman the perceptional evidence that you can see for yourself last point supposing you have not found a guru then what to do should we wait until we meet a guru no whatever you have understood start the guru will come along later so that is why i have given you this knowledge that it may help you until you meet a guru
This has been so meaningful for me and my family. 